Hi, everybody. I'm Shauna Corden. I'm really glad to have you here. I want to let you know a little bit about what we're going to cover tomorrow in the Personal Success Members Lounge. We're going to be talking about SMART goals as well as taking those goals and really chunking them down in the way of a work breakdown structure, which is a really common project management tool in order to make something that could be quite overwhelming into small, manageable, bite-sized pieces. But right now, I just want to give you a quick overview of what SMART goals are and why they help you be more productive. SMART is an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Reasonable, and Timely. All really effectively written goals will have these components to it. And so if you've ever struggled with a goal where you didn't feel like you got traction or you weren't quite sure if you were done, it's probably because it's missing one of these aspects. So specific is that you've identified something so clearly that someone who doesn't know you or understand your particular goal would be able to read it and say, yes, you know, that's very clear. It might be a geography. It might be a distance. It might be the number of times you complete something. Uh, it might be the scope of the activity itself. So whether it's um, finding a new job, losing 10 pounds, running a marathon, those are all really specific. Okay, Measurable means that a third party can identify whether you've met the mark. This is how I think of the numbers. Is this dollar saved? Is this uh, increased customer satisfaction? Is this pounds lost? Is this how fast you can run a mile? Is this a date that you've achieved this particular objective like uh, finding a new job? Attainable, can you or anyone for that matter actually achieve this goal? So some things we have to speculate about because we've got some sort of analogous activity we can compare it to. But for example, we know that no one can lose 20 pounds overnight. Um, if so, I'm sure there would be some great, wonderful thing right before class reunions and things like that. Um, but it might be likely to lose two pounds if you juiced or something like that. So we want to make sure that what you're shooting for is really attainable. Another example is that you might have a goal to run a five-minute mile. Uh, if you were a, a good athlete and you had a strong running regimen already in place, you might be able to do that by the end of the month. But if you're a couch potato, it might take you five years to do that. Okay? So reasonable. Is it plausible in the time frame you've outlined? Um, for example, let's say that you want to do five workouts in a seven-day week. That's pretty likely, especially even if you're a couch potato today, you might be able to do that. But 15 workouts in a seven-day week, not very plausible, okay? So timely, we want to make sure that there's a deadline associated with it. And that deadline needs to be something that a third party, again, can simply look at the data and say, did you achieve those five workouts in seven days? Did you run the mile in less than five minutes? Did you network with enough people and or did you find that job by that date, that deadline that you set for yourself? So that's a little bit about SMART goals. Just um, wanted to give you that quick overview. If you're not making progress towards a goal that you were really hoping to achieve, are you missing one of these components that could really make you um, address an area that maybe you've missed? Um, or perhaps you just need a deadline to get it done. So. If you'd like to know more about our personal success uh, webinars and series, uh, you've got our email and phone number there. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.